So now we move to slightly longer lightning talk presentations. These are now 10 minutes. Um, and first up is um, some work on the new biodiversity data journal um, and how that's being linked in to make publishing easier. So, Demetrius. Thank you, Vince. So, um, Scratchpad's and the new biodiversity data journal, biodiversity data publishing made easier. So, um, with up to uh, two million species already described, uh, and uh, the taxonomic data production is increasing uh, rapidly. With countless specimens, images, maps, keys, and essentially data set underpinning all these publications. Now, if we put that into the perspective that we still have to describe around 8 million species, what we can expect is this volume of data to increase more rapidly than ever before. The previous speakers in this session has, have very well demonstrated how you can use Scratchpads to enter, curate, or even analyze your data. But the question is, what can we do next? Or someone else might say, so what if I can put my data in Scratchpads? What incentives can we give actually to researchers that they will mobilize them to put their data online in an open format? Well, the great in greatest incentive you can give to researchers is actually allow them to take credit for their work. So the next step would be to allow data publication through the Scratchpads environment into a journal. And that would create a seamless data workflow and transform Scratchpads into a one-stop shop for biodiversity data handling. So the whole idea is to allow the structured data already in a Scratchpad to be selected, described, and properly annotated so that they can directly push for publication into a journal. And that journal, he, and of course from there, all the components can also be fed to the different major repositories. The new journal that we're talking about is the Biodiversity Data Journal. It's uh, open access and of course a peer review uh, journal. It launches in 2013, supports the full life cycle of a manuscript digitally from writing to submission to the review to the publication and the dissem dissemination of the, of the results um, in a structured, reusable, and standardized format of uh, data. And of course, it's linked to the Scratchpad via the publication module. So what can you actually publish in the BDJ? The answer is all your valuable work that you cannot very easily publish anywhere else. And I'll go through the list so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Single taxon treatments or nomenclatural acts, local or regional checklists, sampling reports, the habitat-based checklists, ecological and biological observations, single identification keys, biodiversity-related databases, and of course, biodiversity-related software tool or their documentation. How do Scratchpads and the BDJ interact? We provide a number of templates through Scratchpads that you can actually select your data and directly send it for publication, generate a manuscript to be published. So we have a very easy and very intuitive interface to do so. You can start a new publication by just new manuscript by just clicking on add a publication. You can work on multiple manuscripts at once. You can invite different people to participate in these manuscripts. And of course, you can assign different roles and manage the permissions on the manuscript. Author, author names and affiliation can direct, affiliations can directly be sent for publication through the Scratchpads environment. Uh, if you do have a taxon description, a new description for a taxon or a redescription or a taxon, and you have that data already in your Scratchpad, the only thing you have to do is just select it, and there you go. The elaborate work of creating specimen data records tables can now be uh, replaced with just selecting the specimens you have in your Scratchpad, and the formatting is something you don't want to care about anymore. References. You can easily cite the references you have in Scratchpads in the text, and also this will auto-generate your bibliography for the manuscript. 
figures, of course, you can embed your figures or build figure plates. The tables, whatever tables you select to create, uh, you don't have to care about the formatting. This will be done afterwards in an automated way. The text, well, you have to write those. So everything is being compiled into a single XML file and being sent for uh, the peer review process in the biodiversity data journal. What you get before the submission is something very familiar to you, this PDF-like format, so that you can see what eventually will be published. The post-submission workflow also holds some uh, new features. So once you submit your uh, manuscript to the scratchpads, the editor, you can actually decide if you want your manuscript to go, sorry, to go over a closed, the already known process, a community-based or a completely public open peer review process. And it's up to you to decide which one you want to follow. Now, all the comments, all the revisionary comments, are actually being fed back into a single file to the editor, and the editor can actually request uh, a revision to the manuscript, or they can just accept it and publish it. What is happening next is very also important. The final publication is being published in a human-readable format, which means the well-known PDF format, or the HTML format, but also in the machine-readable format, which is an XML file. And all the different components of your manuscript will be automatically deposited to the different repositories. So we, uh, they will send the taxon names and the descriptions to AOL, uh, data sets to Dryad, occurrence data to GBIF, and uh, the entire manuscript will be deposited, of course, in PubMed Central, and so on. So, and of course, everything can be fed back to the Scratchpad's environment. And I see Vince up there, so I'm finishing. Uh, imagine the future. That's what I have to say. Imagine when you, don't ha when you can do that only, not only for one journal, for, but for any journal. And the step... Uh, first step is out there. The second step will be to do the same thing for the other pens of publications, but the future is open and waiting. So thank you so much. So thanks, Demetrius. It's certainly been a dream of mine to be able to automatically get a machine to write my manuscripts for me, and it's it's great to see that such uh, there's been a, lo a lot of innovation there with um, uh, the, that publishing module.